get you anything? No. No, thank you. Hey, Lee. What's going on between them two? He's just found out that she slept with Desi's brother. You what? When? Right after Des died. You are kidding. Well, talk about keeping it in family. Hey, have you heard this? Janice! Natalie, sleeping with Desi's brother before he were even called in grave. Get lost, you can't be serious. No, this is true, they've just been rowing about it, isn't that right, Liam? Yeah, well, it's none of our business, is it? And it's true, then? Yeah, she heard him having a bar, eh? Yeah? And then they went for round two, a bar. Put another one in there, Leanne, love, would you? I've got to spend the whole afternoon listening to Mads and banging on about killing animals. Well, there's one cow in here needs sorting out, that Natalie. What? Do you know, I knew it. She'd never have married that one. It were a lovely lad, Des. Nobody realised what out of gold he had. Oh, just give it a rest, a lot of you, will you? Don't be so miserable. That Natalie, she only jumped between the sheets with Des's brother. Yet set and Des were dead. Ooh, talk about man madder. Now, hey, you know, you told me that you saw Des Barnes's brother in here, didn't you? Yeah, I went through to the back with Natalie. Mm -hmm. Now we know what for, don't we? Thanks, love. Listen, Des Barnes were a friend of mine. And the way you were with our little Tommy. Oh, ah, your terrace kid, eh? Yeah, well, he were a damn sight better father to our Tommy than that when my own son was. You know, the way she double-crossed me and our Jack to get this place, well, I thought that was as low as she could stoop, but this... Have I done something to upset you, Vera? You'd upset anybody with half an ounce of decency. And you've got the brass neck to come in here as if butter won't melt. Vera, just leave it, yeah? You stand there playing the grieving widow, the crocodile tears. I beg your pardon? Bedding poor Desi's brother. Who told you? You're a real piece of work, you are. You know, I thought I'd heard some things in my time, but this, you disgust me. You don't understand, Vera, because you've got a very small mind and a very big mouth. And the day people like you do understand me is the day I should feel ashamed of myself. It seems a strange way to grieve, if you ask me. You sure Vera's got all the wrong in the stick? No, it wasn't Vera. It was Leanne. Wasn't it, Leanne? What's that? Um, the Mary Widow. I was just telling Fred about her. Yeah, I'm sure you were. Then you're reveling in this, a lot of you, aren't you? Uh, come on, it were you blabbing about it in the first place, madam? <gasps> yeah, different is, Audrey. I didn't mean to, all right? What was all that about? Uh, nothing. First of all, it's Vera calling me a slut. Then it's Audrey looking at me as if I'm something she's scraped off the bottom of a shoe. Flipping Vinny as he set out. About what? Oh, come on, Leanne. You've been in here all day. You've heard folk talking about me and Colin. It had to be Vinny. No one else knew. Well, no, he hasn't said anything to me. Maybe it's just best if you let it drop, eh? 